Good afternoon, my name is Dr. Bull. Thank you for coming in to see us in the GP today. Can I just get you to confirm your name and age for me, please? Uh, yeah, it's Craig Leith, I'm 44. Fantastic. Um, Mr. Leith, uh, can I call you Craig? Yeah, call me Craig, yeah, everyone does. Fantastic. So, um, why? what's your understanding of why we've brought you into, GP t into the GP today? Well, it's checking up with my uh, diabetes, isn't it? Yep, absolutely. Um, and can you tell me a little bit about what's been happening with your diabetes recently? Uh, not much really, you know, I'm on the insulin now, which I take. Uh, I suppose my sugars have been a bit low, I suppose, uh, but, um, you know, I do the thing, thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but I feel fine. Okay, good. Um, and what's your understanding of what diabetes is? Uh, that's just it, it says where the sugars are affected, isn't it? And that's why I need to be on the, I did have um, tablets before, mm -hmm. but none of those worked, so I went okay. on the insulin. Okay. And when did we start you on your insulin? Uh, that was about um, five, six months ago. Okay. Now you mentioned your sugars had been a bit different. What kind of numbers are you getting when you test your sugar yourself? Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember. They're quite low, you know. Okay. Anything less than four? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, less than four, yeah. 2.9, 3.2, something like that. Okay. And when you have these low blood sugars, do you feel unwell at all? Uh, no, no, I feel like I'm absolutely fine. Okay, all right, good. Now, if it's all right with you, I'd just sort of like to ask you a few questions about your diabetes and about sort of how you've been overall, if that's all right. Can I ask when you last had your eyes checked? Oh, now that's something I've got to get done, because I haven't done that for a while. Yeah, need to work on that. So we'd recommend you get your eyes checked every year. It's really important because one of the side effects, unfortunately, of diabetes is that it can affect your vision. And that's, that's very important to have it checked regularly. Yeah. In terms of your feet, when was the last time your feet were checked by the podiatrist? Um, now you're taking me back a bit. Yeah, it's another thing I've got to get sorted. No, I have, when I get the time, mm -hmm. I'll get those things sorted. Don't you worry. Okay. And again, very important because one of the side effects of diabetes is it can affect your feet quite badly so mm. it's important to have that checked regularly as well. I can help you make appointments for both of those if you need to before you leave today. Yeah 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 let's get that sorted yeah. Good. Now can I ask how's your diet? Uh, good, it's very good. I love my food. <laughs> Do you eat plenty of fresh fit and vegetables? Um, I'm out on the road so much mm -hmm. uh, in the truck uh, if, it, if it's a bit of a banana around, I'll probably pick it up and eat that, but mm -hmm. not really. Not into your fruit and veg stuff. Okay. So what kind of things do you tend to eat in a day? Um, well, a nice big breakfast. Mm -hmm. Right, start the day with a good big breakfast. Mm -hmm. I've probably been asleep in the van, mm -hmm. in the cafe. It starts you off for the day, and then it's whatever I can... It's what's ever in the little drawer in my cab. Okay. I'll just have that, you know, Mars bars. Something just to keep you going. Okay. All right. And in terms of exercise, how frequently are you exercising? Oh, I, don't, I, don't really, I don't have time for exercise. I'm in and out of the van quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing a little bit like that. But not sort of any formal kinds of exercise? No, I'm never one for that, no. Okay. And your weight in the last few months, how's that been? Has it changed at all? Uh, no, I think it's been about the same. Okay. Not lost any weight, gained any weight? Oh, certainly not lost any, no. That's yeah. true. All right. And do you smoke? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do smoke, yeah. Right. Okay, and how many cigarettes do you smoke a day? Uh, about a packet a day, 20, something about like that. About 20 a day. And when did you start smoking? Oh, God, well, 18, though, I thought. Okay, so it's very important that you stop smoking. As part, diabetes can affect your heart, and smoking can also negatively affect your heart, and the combination of the pair of them is not good together. It's really important that you stop smoking. It's also very important that we try and get your diet a little bit better with a good amount of fruit, fresh fruit and vegetables. That will help with your blood sugar control and it can also help lose a bit of weight, which would be helpful for your diabetes too. Again, I've got some lovely supportive people in the practice who can help you with, some, with diet changes and with help with smoking cessation as well. So again, I'll give you some more information about that later, but I think it's important that we get those organised as well. Okay? Now, that brings me on to what I think the most important part of this conversation will be today. The reason we've brought you in today, really, is to discuss your driving. When my colleagues saw you a few months ago, did they talk to you at all about contacting the DVLA and stopping driving when you started insulin? Um, 
Yeah, I'm sure they mentioned something about it, yeah. Okay. And did you contact the DVLA or stop driving after that discussion a few months ago? Um, uh, no, I haven't got around to it yet. I'll, I'll get around to it at some point, I'm sure. Okay. And did they explain why it was really important to do both of those things? Uh, was it something about... The, I think they were talking about a collapse of the shoes go too low. Yes, absolutely. But I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. Okay. So, are you happy for me to kind of go over that again and why it's important that yeah. you speak to those people yeah, and, yeah. and stop driving? So, when you're taking insulin, there's always a risk that you have what we call hypoglycemia, where your blood sugar drops very low, usually less than four. Now, in your case, you've described a blood sugar that you've tested yourself that's been less than four. Mm. When that happens, some people can lose consciousness, they can pass out. Now, if you're driving, particularly a heavy goods vehicle, that can be catastrophic, both to you and to the general public. If you lose control of your vehicle, that would be quite disastrous. The government and DVLA have stated that if you are a diabetic and you use insulin, it, you have a legal obligation to tell the DVLA and to stop driving. Now, I'm sure that my colleague spoke to you about that last time you were here and urged you to do that. And I'm, I'm sad to hear that you have continued to drive and that you haven't spoken to the DVLA. Well, what do you expect me to do? It's how I earn a living. It's how I pay the bills. I completely understand that. And it is a, going to be a big change, massive change to your life. But this is about public safety and your safety. And it's also against the law for you to currently be driving an HGV vehicle. So what are you telling me then? Because I ain't going to tell them. I ain't going to tell them. Because I'll be out of a job. As soon as I tell them, my boss, I'll be out of a job. I know. And that is a big concern. I'm happy to speak to your employer and let them know the situation, if you're happy for me to do that, and discuss that with them. And maybe we can sit and suggest some changes to your job role that doesn't involve you driving. Potential for some possibly a change in role, maybe working in an office instead, rather than driving. I know it's a scary time and a no change and being confronted with this can be very difficult, but this is very, very important for you to do this, okay? It's against the law for you to be driving. If you don't tell the DVLA, I'm duty bound to tell the DVLA on your behalf that you are using insulin. So you'll dog me in? I thought this was supposed to be a sort of private information, that, you know, what's that hypocritic oath or whatever it's called? So you're right. Our, our conversation today is confidential. Everything that you say to me, I respect and will not tell anyone else, except in the situation whereby I believe you're putting yourself or the general public at risk, which in this particular case, I believe you are. So I'd like you to tell the DVLA yourself and I'd like you to stop driving and talk to your employers. However, if you do not want to do that, you don't feel comfortable to do that, I'm duty bound to do that on your behalf for the safety of you and other people. I can't, but I thought you people were supposed to care for your patients, not get them into this. Honestly, I, I can't believe what you're saying to me. I know. I hear your concerns, but it's very important that we do this. Is there anything else that you can think of that would, would help make that easier for you? So what I'm thinking is if I was to be good on my diet and reduce the amount of food I have and cut down the smoking, mm -hmm. does that mean that then I'll be able to eventually come off this insulin? So every change that you can make to improve your, your health overall and your diabetes is a fantastic thing and we'd absolutely support you in doing all that. Now, what happens longer down the line is decided by the DVLA and they would contact you and decide based on your individual circumstances when and if you would be allowed to drive again. So I would encourage you to make these changes because every little helps, but I can't ever guarantee that you would be allowed to drive again. But that's not ultimately my decision to make. So the most important thing is that you stop driving your heavy goods vehicle today. So will I be able to drive my family car? So currently you're experiencing hypoglycemic episodes that we talked about with a blood sugar of 2.9. The safest thing at the moment would be for you to stop driving your car as well as your heavy goods vehicle until we have a better control of your diabetes. And again, 
When things are better controlled, the DVLA can help assess you and make sure that you're safe to drive again. I know we've had a lot to talk about today. Would you mind just summarising what we've gone over, just so I know that we, we both understand each other and if there's anything else that we've missed out, we can talk about. Yeah, so you're saying I've got to tell my boss, mm -hmm. I've got to tell the DVLA mm -hmm. that I'm on this insulin and if I don't do it, you will do it. Yes. And then, I, and then I get out of work and I've got no money and I just have to pick up a life somewhere. That's what you're telling me, isn't it? So initially, yes. You, you, I do want you to tell the DVLA and I do want you to stop driving. In terms of your job and your career and your life, we want to try and help you and support you as much as we can to minimise the effect of this. I'm happy to write a letter to your employer explaining the situation and suggesting with you, if, if you're happy to do that, something alternative that you can do. Yeah. There's also a lot of support out there for people who aren't, aren't able to work and we can help you find access to that support as well. Yeah. I know it seems like a big change, I can only imagine, but it's so important that you stop driving. Right, okay, well if you can write that letter, okay. at least that'll, you know, my boss might not be so hard on me. Okay. Uh, yeah, all right, I'll have to do it. Now I have to ask you, will you inform the DVLA and will you stop driving? Seems like I've got no choice, so yeah, I will. Okay, good. Now. I'm happy that you're going to do that. We spoke earlier about some of the other changes we can do to support you with things like weight loss and smoking cessation and I'll give you some leaflets to help with that today and I can ask some people to pop in and speak to you as well. I'd like to see you again in a week's time just to make sure that, how, just to check how you've got on contacting the DVLA and how you get on spoken, speaking to your boss yeah. so we can make sure that things are moving smoothly, okay? In the meantime, we can have a look today at your insulin, make sure you're on the right dose of it and we can do a few routine blood tests just to see how everything else is looking. Okay, how looking, how, just checking your diabetic control currently. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Do you have any other questions for me? Anything else that's worrying you? No. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. I know this is difficult, but we're here to support you and it's so important. Yeah, I get it. Thank you very much.